What is going on YouTube? One LA from here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the new segment that I am calling Tech Tuesdays. That's right. We're going to go over some of the tech that I have, some of the stuff that I use to record the videos that I do, whether it's my GoPro, my Sony. And then we'll kind of dive into some of the software that I've learned how to use and show you what I've picked up along the way. Every Tuesday, we're going to do a short little blip of some sort of technology, the settings that I use. Like today, we're actually going to go over the Hero 7s that I use and the settings that I use in them to make the videos that I do and why I choose the particular settings that I do because the way that I use it in the software later. Grab the Hero 7. I have it set for 4K and shooting at 60 frames per second and hyper smooth is on. My field of view is wide. Some people like to use linear. I like to use wide because I like to crop in sometimes and then go back out as the video likes to change. And I like having that ability. When you put the linear, you don't quite have that ability. And stabilization is auto. Pretty standard for most people's settings. This is what you'll probably use. As we get through the ProTune, the first setting you'll see is the shutter. I leave that on auto, especially with the GoPro, I'm usually shooting with my helmet on, so things are gonna change. So I wanna keep that shutter speed automatic, let it do its own thing. The EV comp, which is exposure compensation, and I set mine to negative 0.5. That's because in Arizona, it's rather bright and there's a lot of light casting from horizontal surfaces. So I put it to negative 0.5 and that dulls that down just a shade. White balance, I like to also keep the auto because I'm always in changing scenes. I don't want it to be set for a cloudy day and then all of a sudden the sun pokes through and now it's the wrong color so i leave that in auto and just kind of let that do its thing when i bring it back to the post is when i really start to adjust that warmth and the coolness of the picture now we get into iso so i have my iso men set to 100 and what iso is is the camera's sensitivity to light that little sensor how sensitive it is to that light. So 100 is very low sensitivity. Doesn't let a ton of light in. Again, I shoot in Arizona, so it's usually very bright and I don't really shoot nighttime stuff because GoPros, they're not really the best at night. ISO Max is only set to 200 because I don't need it to go that far. Something with ISO, when you have the max too high, you'll actually get this blurry look. Like when you look at numbers, you'll see them kind of wash out a little bit as noise. You don't want that. So I keep my settings ISO min at 100 and ISO max at 200. GoPro over sharpens things. So I put my sharpness to low and I bring in that sharpness in post. The next is color. GoPro color usually does a pretty good job, but me personally, I find that because in Arizona, there's a lot of browns and grays and tans, and then you have this really bright blue sky, and then every once in a while, a green bush. So what it'll do is it'll oversaturate the greens and the blues and really make them crazy, crazy green and blue, and it'll dull down everything else, and I don't like that. So I shoot it in flat, I color grade it again in post using my software, which if you guys like to, I'll go over how to do that. Actually, I think I will do that. But I like to shoot it in flat because it gives me the most options on how I want my footage to actually look. In raw audio, I leave that off. I usually have a, either a microphone, external mic plugged in, or I don't use it for audio at all. And I just kind of leave that off. Mics, same thing, auto. There's my little settings I use for the GoPro when I actually do B-roll using it and when I have it on my helmet, the different settings that I use to kind of make that color look the way it is because again, I do it in post. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is my first Tech Tuesday video. There will be more of them. We'll go in more in depth if you'd like. Let me know what you'd like to see. I have more camera stuff I'm gonna go over, more microphone stuff to go over, and then again, the software that I use. So with that, you all have a good one. I'm out.